by popular demand, Project Tiger Moth, the good old days. Ever since this was uploaded on the internet, a lot of fans have been asking me to review this one as well as Series 24. And having seen it myself, I thought it would be nice to review this as well, even though I have finished with Series 2 for this year. And for Series 24, it's, I honestly didn't have that much time to rewatch every single episode this month, so you might see a full review of it next year after I do Series 3. But I definitely had all the time in the world at this point to review on the good old days Project Tiger Moth. This is a fan-made Gage 1 project produced by Flying Pringle and various other users with accurate replica models of Thomas and his friends, making this the first Thomas project using Gage 1 models in such a scale in nearly 15 years since the model era of the show ended in 2008. In the video, Toby is upset that he didn't get to board passengers for days, but one day he brings a train of building supplies to Percy for the mainline extension. Things go wrong when the trucks push Toby down the hill, through some bushes, and to an old manor station. Thomas and Percy both arrive and the fat controller praises Toby. After the restoration of his old tramline, the passengers board Henrietta and Toby is now happy that Finns are like the good old days again. This portrait was made to feel like we were back in Series 5 of the show, and it really does feel like a Series 5 episode to me, with the quality of the filming, the models, and the music as well. And you could tell that a lot of time and effort was put into this, since they wanted to make it feel like you were watching the classic TV series. And having re-watched it myself, the American dub and the official UK dub as well, this really does seem like what Thomas the Tank Engine could have been like if Vince hadn't gone downhill after Thomas and the Magic Railroad. This is what could have been if Brit Orcroft hadn't gotten fired from her position on the show. This project was also made as a dedication to the memory of David Mitten, the original director of the series. And you can really tell how much they admired his work with the camera work and the models and the sets. Every single bit of camera work in this episode is very reminiscent of how David Mitten would direct the series, positioning the cameras in such a way that seems very realistic and it's like you're right in front of the engines or right below the engines, as if you were filming them from your cameras and iPhones. And I think it's a very nice touch how they use stock footage of Toby and the Stout Gentleman for this episode in Toby's flashback. It's just one of those nice touches that brings us back to the classic series of the show when they would have flashbacks of old episodes. And even though I'm a UK fan myself, I do enjoy both American and UK narrations for this video. The UK one making it sound like a Liverpudlian narrated it like it used to be. And I love how the UK version gives the characters different voices and different accents, much like how Michelangelo's used to do. And the American dub is also really good as well. And even though most Thomas fans in America aren't a huge fan of his narrations, I do like how this guy sounds almost similar to Alec Baldwin, the guy who played Mr. Conductor in Thomas and the Magic Railroad and narrated the 5th and 6th series in America. I just find it a nice touch that they got someone who could do an impression of Alec. Project Tiger Moth has been referenced by many fans as the peak of the fandom's creativeness in fan projects, and an example of just how far the general public have come with them. And having watched it myself, it really does feel like an episode from the classic TV series. It just brought me back to those days when I would watch Series 5 in the late 90s. Just the excitement and the thrills of seeing these new episodes. And while this video doesn't really have a moral to it like most Thomas stories did back in the days, I don't think it really needed a moral. It was made as a pilot to show us what they could really do with their modelling skills. And they wanted to show as much love and care as David Mitten and Britt Allcroft did when they were in charge of the show. And it does just that. It brings us back to our childhoods in the late 90s when we were watching the classic series on VHS and TV. Mainly the Series 5 era of the show. What else can I say about Project Tiger Moth, the good old days, other than it's a perfectly written, perfectly crafted and perfectly modelled and perfectly filmed love letter to our childhoods and the great work of the late great David Mitten. Check it out if you haven't already. It's definitely worth it.